outside. Yeah. Indian Red, so Indian Red, a California rapper, was on live with his homie BB3 Capone and got shot on live in front of everyone that was viewing that live video. So what happened is, in my recent video, I got the stories mixed up because it kept coming up together. So I was just so under heat and just heated up by the situation. Is Indian Red was with a couple of his homies and they were vandalizing Nipsey Hussle's. Yeah. Wall banging Capone. So he wasn't the one that did it, but he did repost it and he took pictures in front of it. And apparently, this got them like millions of views. It was in his car, and I literally saw the video as well that is going around of Indian Red being shot while on live talking to his homeboys, saying his last words to his homeboys. This is crazy. I cannot believe all the stuff that's now happening. I'm telling you, the energy that's going on right now around this time all the stuff is happening is for a reason because we are in a specific time and this stuff is meant to happen they're saying that it was a woke up shooting but the strange thing about this is we all have the choice to go and view that video because we have access to it why do we have access to see certain things like this is being promoted to a certain type of people access more social media than the internet there for a reason and we don't even know the real purpose of our phone have things like this happening so easy to where someone can go live give out their location without even knowing it why do you think self snitching is something that's really popular now because your mind is being tricked into self snitching you want the clout so much but it's like literally it's like the dope thing that they talk about when you get a like and stuff that's what's happening your brain is being programmed and no one is going to tell me other i cannot believe that this stuff is being shared and constantly being shared and then you see people in the comments and stuff all laughing and some saying r.i.p and r.i.p to nipsey hustle and stuff and they're saying this is the one that happens because of Nipsey Hussle. KTS Dre situation is not, there's not that many videos on it. There's not, where's all the lies? Where is all the lies of people going live and speaking out about the situation? All we've seen is the video. Why is that video still on YouTube of Indiana Red being shut down? Because they are there to put stuff in people's head and we are living in different times. We are being programmed and people don't even know it. Everyone, it's like I'm looking at the comments and no one is even sad. Everyone is laughing and talking about a new art pack and ups and I put Nipsey Hustle and stuff. And it's all a game, real life Call of Duty that's going on right now. And I believe it because why? The games, all that stuff is all predictive programming. I feel like you're all being programmed. Something big is about to happen and they are making people immune to certain stuff. See what's going on. They are trying to make it become a norm where, you know, killing people is nothing and they're pushing it to certain people and millions of people are viewing this who is being now programmed as influenced and this is all happening because of what they are planning to be trying to make it normal they are trying to make you emotionless to the situation now people don't cry about people dying anymore people celebrate it they laugh about it they make jokes about it and that's what they're doing that's the predicted product i'm talking about why because those people who did it one they were watching them and two they were programmed and they were all doing it for the look now they're going to come and they're going to start doing all this stuff and the ups and the art pack and everything and spreading this around the internet to get more views off of the situation is being done because of the views because of the internet their phones is now being their downfall this is a downfall to internet and this is a thing that people don't really know the purpose of their own phones they don't even know it it is there for a reason we are being controlled by a mass that is there for their purpose it's being used against us yeah it comes in useful and stuff but that's not the real purpose of it and this is what people need to get this is the mindset that people need to get in and realize the internet is only there for one reason so they push and they want certain people to see certain things and therefore they're being influenced by it. that's why you see now people are going around talking about our pack and stuff and this new up word and everything that they're using smoking he got smoked all of it all of that is because of what's been going on on the internet because of what people's been seeing they were watching his life and then they went and took him out literally it was a walk-up job i cannot believe these stories these two stories katie of jet indiana red it doesn't seem unusual out what's the real purpose of these things why do we have fun why we can't go outside why we can't travel why we can't do stuff because this is a new world order this is the new order we are living in new 
times and this is what people need to understand the more you disconnect yourself from the social media from the thing especially when you are a gambling person you would have a better chance actually not getting caught by arts and not putting yourself in a position where you can't get out like indian red you are saying your last words gasping for breath to everyone he didn't even hang up the live he couldn't do nothing it was so terrifying to watch and i couldn't believe that this live is still available for people to see you couldn't really see where he was hit but you saw everything come from his mouth and some other thing that shouldn't be put on the internet we shouldn't be able to see they would take that other stuff and they would take that powerful words that could actually change people's minds they will remove that from certain sides but it wouldn't take that down they will continue to be seen you know you see like that then your stuff becomes flooded with people laughing and stuff about it and then come on that ride waves and do all this stuff and follow behind people then you can be very easily into falling behind the stuff and following it and dissing them everyone is saying this happened because of the Nipsey Hussle situation do I believe it to be honest with you this live and stuff like that when you're on live and then all of these people can be watching you on live and you don't know who it is you don't know where they are and then you put yourself in that position where you know you could easily become a target to other people it could have been someone who you've done something in the past it could have been related to that situation they didn't have to do that they didn't have to do that they didn't have to take it that far it was all done in my opinion for clout and the views that like it was also done for someone else who was viewing that live to watch it so find it really odd that they would take him out for what someone else has done even though he was all a part of it what happened to the other people why didn't they do something to the other people why did they choose him why was he on live at that specific time where was he like none of it is not really making any sense to be honest with you. i feel like this is a narrative that they are pushing i mean you can just see like people are, just, are literally like trying nothing trying to do something to prove themselves just to go viral and that's what it's become so right now people are literally going out there and they're doing stuff just to go viral i don't necessarily think it was because of this picture i think it goes deeper i think he was set up and i think there was someone on that line that was viewing that live watching the situation about to happen going down and it is just creepy it's crazy to even think them kind of stuff some of these stories like they literally cover up and they put out what they want to put out what they want people to know but in reality what actually happened stays behind the scenes and it mumbles around and stuff and then it turns into something different but it's actually not the case i don't necessarily think this happened because he did something to the pictures or because someone who he was with did something to the pictures and he posted a picture i don't think it was because of that i feel like someone who was on that live was watching and waiting for the situation to happen the person whoever did it whoever woke up as paid to do that situation but nipsey or some them not it could have been something that he did from in the past it could have been someone else who was actually on the live saw him and decided they were going to do this but have no heart no emotions towards certain things